Well, let's take a, take a look at a review of what happened during the day today. In Boise, we had all that snow this morning, about two and a half inches in most places. Some places got a little more, some places a little less. The conditions got better during the day than that wave of snow in the afternoon. And then did you see those raindrops on the lens. I believe it turned to rain. The temperature shot up to 30 degrees. It might have been milder and then it got colder again. We hit 30 and then went back down to 23. And so there's layers of warm air trying to mix down. They're coming in a loft and it's not quite making it to the ground. And so the lower you are in a valley, it's like being at the bottom of a pool. It's tough to get that colder air out. And so we're warming from top to bottom. And that's why the lower elevations will stay on the cold side. Twin Falls shot up to 37, 39 degrees today while it was in the teens in Ontario. Bacall, another one to three inches overnight by the morning. Some of that's already fallen. So expect snowy roads tomorrow morning, uh, possibly another inch on Friday. Then we're going to start to warm up. You see these temperatures Friday afternoon warming into the mid 30s and we could see mid 30s over the weekend. So it's a tough call on the snow level here. It's probably not going to be much of an accumulation in McCall, but wow, the ski areas will continue to pile up that snow, which is great news for the weekend. Got a disturbance going by to the north there. Got a low pressure that's trying to catch up to the cold front here. It's supposed to be over there. I didn't draw it in enough, but this is the jet stream. I want to show you this right here. See the stream of cloud cover? That's that moisture. It's been shooting into the central mountains. Some drier air trying to come in from the north behind it. There are strong southwesterly winds trying to be mild air in, but again, the cold air is stuck in these lower valleys. Eventually, we'll get eroded on out. So this moisture goes by overnight tonight. We have a break tomorrow morning, but we could be left with icy roads with this dry weather coming in. The temperatures tend to settle down in the morning, and we can get those pockets of cold air just hanging on. And then when moisture comes in from this system here, moisture is going to flow in here in the afternoon tomorrow. Computer charts have no idea what's going on. So what's typically going to happen is we're going to keep that cold air in the valleys, the western valleys. We could be 20 degrees in freezing rain, at least at a point in the western part of the valley, and at the same time be 42 degrees in Boise and east where there's rain falling. So that's the type of weather that could happen tomorrow. Anything in between could happen as well. We may have snow, sleet, freezing rain, and, and rain. The best chances of snow are going to be... Uh, mostly in the mountains, but in parts of the valley, it's the best chances of freezing rain are going to be in the western part of the valley. So with all of this going on tomorrow, again, no precipitation in the morning, but I'll give it a 3 out of 10, only a 2 out of 10 for my Scott score for the whole day because it's just not the best of conditions because more precipitation in the afternoon. Even if it's just rain, it could freeze on contact where there's snow. Even if your car temperature says it's 35 degrees tomorrow and you're driving and the road seems wet, Assume that it's ice, and if it's not ice there, it might be ice a couple of miles up the road. So just be careful on the roadways tomorrow. It is this area, Ontario, Weezer, Vail, Nyssa, these locations could have pockets of freezing rain south of Caldwell and Nampa as well near Homedale. Watch out for that. Here's the moisture tonight. Still trying to hang on. Dries out. This is in the morning. No precipitation falling, but in the afternoon, this is midday. We're still dry, and then here comes the green. Now, this is what the computers don't know what's going on here. This is showing rain everywhere. If it's rain, it's going to be freezing rain over here because of the fact that we have uh, the cold pockets of air. So the snow, rain, freezing rain all mix as we go through the day tomorrow. And so something we'll have to keep an eye on. I'm going to keep you updated through the day tomorrow. We'll kind of isolate where those pockets of uh, freezing rain and slick roads are. So watch out for slick roads tomorrow morning. And in the afternoon, that's when the moisture comes in. So rain, freezing rain, and snow late in the day. All right, so eventually it warms up for everybody. Look at the low temperatures going well into the 30s. That's what eats snow, and the temperatures don't go below freezing at night. And there's rain off and on over the weekend, so off and on rain. Saturday through Wednesday, it'll start to eat a lot of that snow and melt it away. Again, more moisture and snow in the mountains.